Hey there everybody, Manly Starman here. Welcome to part 8 of my Hunger Games series. Today, a showdown between most of the original Kingdom Hearts characters. Mainly the main lights and darknesses from KH3, with two little extra additions, which I'll cover here in a sec. Unlike last part, since everyone's from the same series again, I don't feel the need to cover everyone, except for those two extra additions I decided to include. Those being the first one you can see here in District 7, along with Master Xehanort, I also included Master Ericus. And to keep things even, down here at the bottom, along with Young Xehanort, I also included Young Ericus. My thought process basically being, in this universe to make this all happen, Young Ericus also just time traveled forward to try to convince Young Xehanort not to do this. That's also why we can have situations where we can have both Terranort and regular Terra competing in this. As for my predictions, I have two characters I'd like to see perform well today. First being the boy, Roxas, and the other being Ventus. I hope one of them wins so I can finally predict one winner. I know I mentioned it every part, but I really want to be able to predict a champion for once. But enough of the preamble. Let us proceed to the bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Ventus grabs a shovel, and Shion spears Roxas in the abdomen. God damn it. Already? Well, I'm glad I picked two people to hopefully win this, because my fave Roxas is the first one to die. I don't think that's happened before. Damn it, Shion. Maybe it was better if you were forgotten. Young Xehanort clutches a first aid kit and runs. Goofy catches young Ericus off guard and kills them. Jesus, Goof. Well, so much for that whole young Ericus trying to save young Xehanort thing, because now he's dead right away. Dark Riku runs, Donald runs, Xehanort kills Terra for his supplies, and his body. Namine and Marluxia fight for a bag. Namine strangles Marluxia with the straps and runs away. Oh my god. Payback's a bitch, huh, Marley? Revenge for what you did to her in Calm. Kairi gathers as much food as she can. Riku runs, Luxor runs, Lee runs, Ansem runs, Sora breaks Ericus's nose for a basket of bread. I guess that works as a bit of revenge for how he went about handling Ventus. Sigbar receives a trident. Aqua runs. Vanitas grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Saix kills Zemnis with his own weapon. How do you do that? I doubt it could have been done with his lightsaber hands, but maybe he reflected back some of his laser shots? Well, new leader of the organization, guys. All hail Saix. And Terranort grabs a jar of fishing bait while Larxene gets the gear. Day 1. Sora overhears Ventus and Goofy talking in the distance like, you son of a bitch. He was my friend first. Nomine, Ansem, Zigbar, and Terranort track down and kill young Xehanort like, we've had enough of this little shit. We want him gone. Donald, Ericus, and Luxord get into a fight. Luxord triumphantly kills them both. This has been a freaking bloody Hunger Games sim already. Like, oh my god. I can't wait to see the cannon shots. Like, how many people have died already? And it just keeps going. Lee throws a knife into Dark Riku's chest. Vanitas practices his archery. Riku chases Xehanort. Kairi picks flowers. Feels accurate. Saix explores the arena. Shion and Aqua work together for the day. And Larkseen fishes. Nine cannon shots, oh my god. Night one. Shion kills Xehanort while he is sleeping. Well, never mind, Shion. You might have, you might have killed Roxas, but you took down the big bad. Good job. Vanitas begs for Zigbar to kill him. He refuses, keeping Vanitas alive. Goofy receives medical supplies. Saix falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Larxene stays awake all night. Lee does the same. Kairi starts a fire. Sora receives medical supplies. Luxor tries to treat his infection. Terranort looks at the night sky. Ventus attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Ansem tries to treat his infection. Namine quietly hums. Well, very accurate. And Riku begs for Aqua to kill him. She refuses, keeping Riku alive. Day 2. Zigbar scares Lee off. 
Vanitas is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Shion and Larkseen work together for the day. Goofy discovers a cave. Ansem searches for a water source. Kairi collects fruit from a tree. Namine overhears Sora and Riku talking in the distance. Aqua dies of dysentery. Rip. Ventus sprains his ankle while running away from Luxord. And Terranor collects fruit from a tree. Only three cannon shots. Like, the opening day or two was, like, really violent for some reason, but now things have just slowed down. Night 2. Zigbar attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Namine attempts to climb a tree, but falls on Ansem, killing them both. Larkseen loses sight of where she is. Sora and Riku sleep in shifts. Fluxter defeats Goofy in a fight, but spares his life. Kairi receives medical supplies. Terranort, Ventus, and Shion discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Vanitas screams for help, and Lee attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. His powers are literally fire, what do you mean? How even. An event. The feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Luxor bashes Larkseen's head against a rock several times. Sora sets off an explosive, killing Benitas, Zigbar, and Terranort. Kairi doesn't go. Lee dies from an infection. Riku severely slices Shion with a sword. Goofy shoots a poisonous blow dart into Ventus's neck, slowly killing him. Aw, oh, man. Ugh. Maybe next part I'll finally predict it, right? Oh my god, we're down to the final fight. It's only day three! What the heck? Alright, I guess this will just be a really short episode. Luxord chases Kairi. Goofy makes a wooden spear. And Sora scares Riku off. Nine cannon shots again. Night three. Kairi cries herself to sleep. And Goofy, Luxord, Riku, and Sora tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Day 4. Luxord falls into a pit and dies. Kairi hunts for other tributes. Goofy travels to higher ground. And Riku tends to Sora's wounds. Only one cannon shot. Night 4. And now Kairi is tending to Sora's wounds. And Riku and Goofy run into each other and decide to truce. Day 5. Sora, Goofy, and Kairi hunt for other tributes. And Riku camouflages himself in the bushes. No cannon shots. Night 5. Sora repeatedly stabs Riku to death with sighs. Alrighty then. Goofy screams for help. And Kairi falls into a pit and dies. Well, final two between Sora and Goofy. And Goofy throws a knife into Sora's head. Meaning, with three cannon shots, Goofy is the winner. Good job, Goof. I always knew you had it in you. Goofy won with three kills. Sora got four. Oh my god. He got three from that one explosion and then the fourth one from killing Riku. Say, Luxord got three. Well, that was fast. Um, okay, so I guess I'll see you all next time, where I'll have two rather old rival franchises be facing off against each other. See you guys then.